Hey everybody, Brian and Kelly for Short Circuit of Brewers. And I know it's been a long time. It's been a long time since any kind of video has been yes. made. So we, yeah. we brewed a couple weekends ago now, mm -hmm. uh, posted a little bit of update on that, but uh, things are, were well. Uh, my surgery for my shoulder, I know several of you have told I had shoulder surgery. Try to say that three times fast. Shoulder surgery. Shoulder yeah, right, surgery. exactly. And uh, it's healing. I'm still going to physical therapy and all that stuff, but I am looking to get back the first of the year. So for those of you that have been wondering where I've been and if I'm coming back, we are coming back. We wanted to put this video out. Uh, Larry just released a video. This was not planned simultaneously or anything, but Larry. And thank you, Larry. You got me out of doing laundry. <laughs> Larry just released a video on uh, actually a couple of videos, canning the beer that we're going to taste and also how he brewed it and everything. So. Mm -hmm. Um, he also sent me some of his hot sauce that he's had a video on. I'll link both, all three of the videos down in the description if you're interested or put a card up here. But, um, so yeah, so the beer is a bourbon stout and he kind of wanted to do it in the style of dragon's milk, which I know you like dragon's milk. <laughs> yes. And he sippy, sippy. based it off of one of the old brew, brew your own, blew your own, brew your own, okay. <laughs> brew your own magazine it's recipes. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Well, tongue tied. We just talk to each other, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, exactly. So he based it off of a brew your own recipe, and then he kind of tweaked it a little bit. So this is the second iteration of what he's done. He used some uh, Woodford Reserve uh, bourbon in it, yeah. some dark toasted chip. Now, I don't want to give away the whole thing. You'll have to go watch his video to see how everything went. Um, he did can it with the, oh, gosh darn, I can't remember what the October can seamer. It's a drill-powered can seamer, um, not that one. That's oh. the, the motor-powered one. Uh, something slightly happened with the seal and that's why the, the label is a little goofy is because it did leak a little bit out in the box, but nothing made, I mean, it was just really like maybe an eighth of a teaspoon or something. So can still has a lot of pressure and all that stuff. So I don't anticipate any oxidation or anything Especially like that. Especially this time of year when everybody throws everything around. They're like, yeah, exactly. Get done, get done. Exactly. So let's crack this thing open and, uh, we'll see what we got here. God love the USPS. Uh Oh, didn't open up all the way. We have can opener. Yeah, I know. Let's see here. We'll get this thing. Just don't get we'll cut. Do yeah, right. Last thing I want to do is get cut. All right, we got it open. So I'm going to pour yours first. A little pour here. He's got his little sticker on there. Yep. I'll pour it on mine. Smelling. And I think I think you need a little more. Oh, always. <laughs> You're like, okay, no problem. All right, so let's uh, let's check this thing out and get the too nose tired on it. For laundry, I just mm, oh. Damn it, Larry. <laughs> now I'll have dirty underwear. <laughs> no, <there's clean. laughs> Ouch. Uh, all right, let's Move get the, on. let's get the aroma on that. Moving along. Let's get the aroma on this. Yum. Mm, what are you what are you? Bourbon. Okay. And what else? Raisin. Okay. It's just it's very aromatic. It's nice. Uh, yeah, and it's pretty cold. I've had it sitting out here on the... I make a nice candle. Yeah, I've had it sitting on the counter here for a few minutes, but <clears throat> this type of beer, really cold, cold, is not probably not the best way to drink it, but... The lights are making my eyes water. Oh. <laughs> well, almost they have to see the, us. I almost said the eyes are making my eyes <laughs> water. We can't do it water. in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the dark beer review. Yeah, <clears throat> coming it's soon. it's been a while. All right, and then uh, after we taste this, which probably is, may not be the best in order but uh, we're going to try some of his tabasco sauce that he made as well he made a bunch of different ones and let me choose one so let's let's get the taste on this thing we didn't do cheers mm. thank you i'm not wearing a microphone it's up there oh okay Woo, that's good so what do you tell me what you okay it's you would think with bourbon in it and all that stuff and close to dragon's milk it might take like taste like a barley wine but it doesn't it's not overly sweet um a nice level sweet um profile with bitters um i think it's delicious okay it's not really raisiny like i was thinking yeah and one of the interesting things and like i said i'm not trying to give away the whole it's like a quick oh gosh it's so weird because it's like a quick taste of like sweet but it's not sweet yeah a uh, problem and maybe some of the bourbon coming out of it absolutely because bourbon has a little bit of sweetness to it the vanilla the it's a great flavor oak, all that stuff one of the things that he did do on this which i've done in the past and you know he he alluded to it in his video was he actually put the dark grains in i think it was like the last 15 or 20 minutes of the mash hmm. so as 
to try not to pick up a lot of that. I think acrid... smelling it, it makes me think it's going to be sweet. Hmm. Not bad. I'm just yeah, saying. I mean, I'm definitely it's very pleasant. What you said about the raisin, I'm definitely picking that up mm -hmm. on the back end as I sit here and just kind of taste it on my okay. palate. Definitely picking up that raisin. And I think a lot of that has to do with those dark roasty grains and stuff. They start to get a little What's raisiny. The ABV on this? Um, I think it's like right at 10%. It's I was like gonna 9. Say 9 at least. I think it was 9.3 or 4 before he added the bourbon. Then of very course he added good job. he did That's the bourbon a high with the point beer with um very balanced flavor. Yeah. And I made a comment on his video. What do you think about doing like a live brew day and brewing this up? Do like okay. 10 gallons of it and Hey, I would do it to in the morning. Stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> comment down below, guys, if you'd like to see us do a live brew day beer. on this beer. Um, we can make I think this. it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, we can make it. Absolutely. Use Larry's recipe sheet and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this thing's definitely got some legs on it. it, it mm. You can definitely tell it's it's got a high ABV, but it doesn't taste like it. There's no, no burn or sting or anything sipper. like that. Be careful. To it, so. It's really good. I'm trying not to hold it. Yeah. Keep drinking. I think it would be really good even if it aged a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, probably would bring out a little Bourbon bit more of those characters. Always. But, you know, this it's, it's good as it stands right now. So. Mm. Mm. It's very good. All right, let's uh, check out the Tabasco onion. It's no laundry good. Got to throw. I'm showing my age here, folks. I got to throw on my reading glasses here to read this label because Larry decided to print it in like about number seven font. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is uh, beer and barbecue, Larry. This is called Tabasco onion. Tabasco onion. Tabasco. Uh, so the ingredients are uh, Tabasco, orange habanero, uh, Havasu. Onion, Melrose, Fresno, garlic, white wine vinegar, and salt. What's in Melrose? Um, I think Melrose is a pepper. I'm not I sure what kind it is. So let's uh, crack this open here. It's got it. It was sealed. So this is our first crack at it here. Got all that stuff off of there. And I brought oh, some crackers. I know. I know. I hope it doesn't. Well, <laughs> it'll be if if it if uh, it's too hot, this should wash it down pretty good. So. Let's, uh, I'll get a cracker and I'm going to throw, I'll throw some of that on there. These are yummy. Give it a taste. Mm. So I got a little bit on there, a little bit on the cracker whoop, and a little bit on the placemat. I'll let you put as much as you want on there. Oh, it smells good. I can definitely smell the onion and the garlic. Oh, that smells so good. This would be good in chili. Mmm. Definitely has a good flavor to it. Mm. Um, a good marinade for chicken. This mm -hmm. would be awesome in chili. Mm. Oh, yeah, for sure. A couple dashes in there. Woo. Yeah, Some I think beans. I'm... Uh, I got a little bit of fruitiness from the habit. <laughs> yeah, I dare you. Don't I triple dare dog dare you. Don't dare me. I don't have a post for you to stick your tongue to. So. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, cool. So, Larry, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just going to choke on camera it's here. It's got it. It's got a kid. Uh, uh, yeah, it's I know CPR out. and a couple other words. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, Larry, thanks very much for sending the care package. Uh, definitely, nice. thank you. Definitely enjoyed both of them, and I'll con we'll continue to enjoy this uh, Tabasco onion sauce. It'll be great on eggs in the morning or mm -hmm. in chili and all kinds of stuff. So, everybody, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, if you do not celebrate Christmas, Whatever holiday you celebrate, Hanukkah, whatever, Kwanzaa, whatever, whatever you celebrate, we're raising the glass to you and hope that you have a wonderful year, uh, year tongue's end. on fire. <laughs> have a wonderful year end with Kelly's tongue on fire. <laughs> <laughs> fa -la 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 That's right. Fa -la 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 uh, wonderful end of the year. Uh, spend it with friends and family and the My ones you love, on hopefully. Um, and, you know, look back on the year and then hopefully it was a good one for you. Uh, it was pretty good for us. We haven't seen you in a long time, but just wanted to say Merry Christmas and put this video out. Thank you, Larry, for sending this to us. You had a triple dog dare me, didn't you? I know. It wouldn't take that. Cheers. I've still done it. Okay. Merry Christmas, everybody, Merry Christmas. or whatever holiday you celebrate. Happy holidays. How do we do this again? I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, let's get on the bike. Okay, All right. I'm on the bike. Okay. I'm pedal, 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 pedal. Pedaling. Making coast. I'm pedaling. I'm coasting. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I remember. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, Brian. And Kelly. <laughs> let's try that again. Okay. <laughs>